In this episode of Hardwood Floor TV, it's straightforward and quick. Two board replacements along the wall before sanding and refinishing. Wonder how it's done? Stay tuned. One rarely knows what they're getting into when carpet is removed from an older hardwood floor. In our case, it was a hole where some wires were buried at one time. This segment could also double for the many floors that at one time had baseboard radiant heating removed where holes were left behind in the floor. The first objective shows the installer cutting back the two boards that get taken out. Here we're cutting with a circular saw to the end joints, so it creates a seamless repair. Next, a quick diagonal cut in the two boards releases the tension, making it easier to remove the boards. The older asphalt underlayment paper is also removed as the replacement boards will be glued and nailed to the subfloor. Finally, a good going over with the vacuum prior to the actual replacement steps. In the next few segments, replacement boards are measured and then cut. A few alterations to the final board that gets inserted shows cutting off the bottom portion of the groove on the end joint, and also on the long side of the board shown here. Finally, or once all the preparation of cutting is complete, adhesive is applied to the subfloor. Seen here, the first board that didn't get the groove treatment fits into place. The installer tightens the board against the existing part of the repaired area, and then nails it into place. Here's where the groove trimming we handled earlier makes sense. The arrow shows the end joint groove removed, followed by the length of the board. This final board is also glued on the top of the groove, dropped into place, and pin nailed. This job was then completely sanded, stained with a dark walnut from Duracell, then finished with a satin sheen water-based system. Check out more high-quality video and web pages at hardwoodinstaller.com, the home of Hardwood Floor TV. Just follow the clicker and click. <laughs>